Sunday is the celebration of Pentecost, the day that commemorates when Jesus sends the Holy Spirit to empower his first followers. When the Holy Spirit first came, people were able to communicate using languages from other parts of the world that they had never learned. The Spirit was reversing the communication chaos of the Tower of Babel. So what does the presence of the Holy Spirit mean for you in your life today? First, if you follow Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, 9 says, if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. If you've repented of your sins and look to Jesus for forgiveness, he has given you his Holy Spirit. Second, you have the Holy Spirit to empower the life of Christ in you. Because the first Pentecost was such a vivid display of supernatural power, people get confused about the agenda of the Spirit. The normal, everyday work of the Holy Spirit in your life is meant to help you follow Jesus. Think being empowered to forgive your enemies, to serve when it's unseen, to have peace when the world is falling apart, or to be patient with the person that everyone can't stand being around. This is the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians 5 says, says, walk by the Spirit, and you will certainly not carry out the desires of the flesh. The empowerment of the Spirit isn't primarily about spontaneous missions or special messages, but fresh power to not be selfish and sin-bound, but Christ and other center. Third, the Holy Spirit gives us hope. God has given us himself to live in us as a promise that one day we will see him face to face. Is God really truly committed to you today? Yes, because he has given you his Spirit. Thank God for the Holy Spirit today.